Now, some hot issues relating to changing phenotype. And I'm sure you've all seen these uh, pictures before. This is from Jeff Gordon's group again. The idea here being that conventionally uh, raised mice, if you take their stool and transplant it into uh, germ-free adult recipients versus an obese mice, and you do the same thing, measuring total body fat just 14 days later, here are the data. Those from the lean had much lower body fat versus from the obese, these germ-free recipients had much higher body fat. Pretty concerning, given that they were all on similar chow and had similar initial body weight and body fat. And then another problem with doing a talk in this area is you better pay attention as to what's been published today or a couple of days ago. So these are data, brand new, published on uh, Friday, again from uh, Jeff Gordon's lab. And what he did here was really cool. Took twins, these are human twins, one of the pair was lean and the other was obese. The sample size of the twins was four, but when you study putting these um, uh, human donors, lean and obese, into notobiotic mice and follow them out for about five weeks, I think you can see that these lean donor stool meant the change in body fat mass was less than those coming from the obese twins. Who's in control here? It's really uh, raising some interesting questions. Then, this seems even scarier, that if you co-house lean and obese mice in the same cage, these are the obese uh, mice. Here what we have is the phenotype changing from before they're co-housed co -housed to after being co-housed. And these red things are all the lean stuff coming in. So guess what? You co-house lean and obese animals the microbiomes change. Pretty scary. I wonder what's happening in our houses. <laughs> and then this final slide shows the effect of low uh, saturated fat, high uh, fiber, basically good diets, versus lousy diets, high saturated fat, and low uh, fruits and vegetables. And if you take obese mice, and give them this uh, high-fat uh, diet, they end up with increase in uh, body mass. But if, I'm sorry, this is the low-fat, they still end up with an increase in body mass. All the other groups don't. But if you give all of these mice either they're obese phenotypes or lean phenotypes, co-housed uh, lean and obese, this bad diet, all of their body weights change. So this raises some serious questions about how obesity is, being, uh, is occurring as a result of the microbial communities.